I mean, there was some very, very uh, um, amazing equipment that you were using in those yeah. days. Um, talk to me a little bit about Randy backstage. Now, there, there was a, kind of a, a little known fact that there was a little amp backstage yeah. that yeah. Randy was using <laughs> that you used to warm up, you and Randy used to warm up with. Yeah. Actually, it was Randy's amp. He used to warm up with it. And then at some point, he started getting really, really heavily into classical guitar. Mm -hmm. And... And then I got the uh, the GR33, and I was taking it on the road, and I was like getting into it, like learning it, because you know it's a new instrument. So I, I you know, Randy said, "Listen, use use my amp, because right now I'm just you, you know playing the, uh, the the classical guitar, so I'm not, I'm not I'm not using it." After after a couple of weeks, he says, "You know what? Just keep it, because he's just." He just got so much into the classical guitar. <laughs> and I remember Ozzy would run into the uh, the the, uh, the dressing room, and it would be Randy with his classical, and I would be like making like like all these sounds, you know, experimenting like wah wah wah. And Ozzy would yell and say, "Play some bloody rock and roll." <laughs> and you guys are sitting back there playing Bach yeah. and Beethoven. Yeah, Bach, I love it. it. Yeah. Well. <laughs> we we showed a picture on the screen, and you can see uh, to the left there, there is a little little orange amp in the left there and uh rudy you were so kind to bring that amp into the studio for us yeah that is actually it's actually pretty heavy isn't this it? amplifier <laughs> yeah. this is a roland cube 40. yeah I still have the uh the same tape everything everything is it's intact that's actually i retired it right after um 82 uh, after the last tour that i did with ozzy I, I i didn't take it back out on the road again or anything so it's been stored it's got the actual dust from 1982. <laughs> it is <laughs> quite, quite amazing yeah. um, and uh, just yeah, really surreal, loved actually. Yeah, the sound of that amp because, you know, he had uh, um, JBLs or Altex. I always get confused between the two on his Marshall cap. So mm -hmm. he was, what he wanted was a real clean, distorted tone, mm -hmm. you know, and that came very, very close to the rig that he was using on stage. That, that's fascinating, and, yeah. I, and I've heard this from a, a number of artists throughout the years, mm -hmm. that regardless of, of the, the Roland amp, whether it's a, a JC120, mm -hmm. or a Cube amp, or a GA112, or 212, that uh, whether you're playing through a clean channel or yeah. an, a really highly overdriven yeah. sound, there is a really unique clarity. And then I got mm -hmm. to thinking about Randy yeah. uh, playing, um, no matter how much gain he played with, you yeah. could always hear everything he was doing, yeah. both live and in the studio.